Blessings everyone. I pray that everyone is doing well on this wonderful day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is author, writer, speaker, and inspirer John D. King. And I want to thank you for tuning in to the TBBC broadcast. Amen. And for the next few minutes, I am your host, John D. King, and I pray that you receive something on today. Amen. I want to thank all the listeners of the TBBC broadcast, everyone that is following me on this network, everyone that is tuning in to the live broadcast of this network, everyone that is following me all around the world, everyone that has purchased the many CDs and books that I have spoke with and written. And I thank you for tuning in, amen. I thank you for allowing me to be in your ears for these few minutes, amen. I don't take things for granted. I know that you can be doing other things or listening to someone else. But at this moment, you're listening to little old me and I thank you, I appreciate it. And I pray that you receive something out of this lesson. Amen. I've been talking about um, experience for a very long time. And just on Saturday, yesterday, we had our um, book club meeting. Amen. It was a great success. Amen. We talked about various things and and um, God allowed me to reveal and some things that are coming up in the coming months concerning the Bridgeport Book Club. Some of the books that I'm getting ready to write or have already started writing, I um, gave an introduction of many of them. Amen. And I, um, I pray that you listen out, have an ear to the books that are coming up and be looking out on Amazon, Barnes & Noble Online, or wherever you can find me. I am everywhere. Um, I will always tweet about everything that I'm engaging in or everything that I'm being a part of. Amen. And also with uh, Saving Souls Radio Network. Amen. And also that branched off into a TV network. Amen. I thank... uh, Pastor Rogers for giving me an opportunity to be a part of that network. Amen. And also 100.9 FM Radio Unidad. I thank uh, Pastor Johnson for allowing me to be a voice uh, every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Amen. These vineyards I take I do not take for granted. Amen. And all the other things that are getting ready to come up in my life, all the meetings, all the seminars, everything that God is going to allow me to do back to school for ministry. Amen. Um, I'm going back to school for ministry, so pray for me, people of God. Pray for me. Amen. Right now, everything that I do, everything that I've been doing, I always learn from the experiences that I engage with, even the experience with the people that I engage with. And I and I always learn from what I am doing. I always make sure that when I leave the conversation or leave the place or leave the building or leave the lesson, something that I'm learning and I'm taking with me. Amen. Every battle I have experienced positioned me. Every every battle I've been through, every war I engaged in, every small fight, every scruffle, I had learned something from it. Every fight keeping me in the war to gain ground. Every fight was keeping me in the war to gain ground in the kingdom of God. Every fight Everything that I've been through was allowing me to hold my ground, teaching me, hold your ground 
in these battles. Hold your ground in this war. The years that has passed. I am a servant in a war. I, I, I'm a servant in this war, in this battle. But I am a general in a kingdom position. But I am the first. I am first a servant that has a master. I am a servant that has a warfare experience. I am a servant that has wounds from many battles. Amen. I am a servant that serves the master architect. I am a servant that serves the master architect. I am a servant of Jesus Christ. I am a servant of the master architect who plans designs and reviews Genesis 1 God plans his plan was to create he designs the heavens and the earth he set back for a moment to review his work he stepped back for a moment just to review his work the master architect that every experience I go through I'm learning from the master I am being taught how to respond in my experiences by the master architect God has placed God has planned you placed you in many positions so that you can gain experience God has planned your life he created you and I that master architect he designed the road we travel on the moments you have The mountains we have to climb. The deserts we walk through. The valleys that we have found. The valleys. He designed our wilderness. The master architect. The master worker. Stepping back to review his work. The heavens and the earth were finished. And all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work. Which he had made and he rested on the seventh day. From all his work. Which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day. And sanctified it. Because that in it. He had rested. From all his work. Which God created and made. Genesis chapter 2 verses 1. Through 3. I come to tell you this. God has a plan. For our lives. He designs our way of living and he reviews his work. But when God created everything, was in it proper position. When he began to design, he positioned everything. And what he designed had a perfect fit. We are created for a perfect fit. Not our will, but thy will. We are made in his image and in his likeness. I learned something so important. 
I learned something. That not only when we strap on our armor or place on our armor, I learned that when in, when armor gets close to a light, it gets brighter and brighter. When the armor of God gets closer to light, the armor becomes brighter and brighter. And I learned that when God comes to review our armor, He does not come down to see how well you fit on your armor. He does not come down to see how well your armor fits on you, but He comes down to see if He can see His image in your armor. Your image must be seen God's image must be seen on your armor I learned that a lot of us we think that when we are when we have the armor of God on and that's it but every piece of your armor can God see his reflection if you're putting on the breastplate can God see his reflection? Hallelujah. If you're putting on the helmet of salvation, can God see his reflection? The master architect is stepping back for a moment to review us, to review his work. What will he see? When he comes and he wants to see his image on you, what will he see? When he comes to review his work just to see his image on you, what will he see? And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. Genesis 1. And 31, God reviews us in our experiences. Everything we go through, there is a review. Before we go into our wilderness, He experiences, He gives us a review. And when we come out of the wilderness, there is a review on how we respond why we was in the wilderness in every experience God is forming you forming me into what he has already formed in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and God said, let there be light. And there was light. Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through 3. When I was a sinner, when I was in the world, I, I was dark. I, I didn't want nothing to do with church, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with church folk. I was a dark person. And I can remember one day when I decided to, I said, God, I'm tired of this lifestyle. I'm tired of this dark person that I have become. And when I said to God, I was tired and I said, God, please save me. Immediately. God looked into my face and said, let there be light. He looked into the dark soul, the darkness that was about me. And he said, let there be light. He created a new creature on top of the old one. 
He created something on top of what was already created. I was without form, but the master architect planned my life and designed everything. So that when I go through my experiences that I'm going through, Carrying the image of Christ. That I'm going through my experiences. With the image of Christ. He reviewed me. So that I can examine myself. So that he can see his image in me. He examined me so that I can see myself, so that I can see and be the image that he wanted me to be. You are, we are image carriers, carrying the image of Jesus Christ. It's important that we understand that we are image carriers. No matter what we allow ourselves to be engaged in or what we do, we are image carriers. We are ambassadors. We have a profession. Being ambassadors and carrying the image of Christ. What's your response? in your experience. This is author John D. King and I want to thank you for listening for this few minutes of encouragement. Keep on moving. Does not matter the type of experiences you go through. It's all about how you respond to what you're going through. Amen. And I pray that you receive something out of this short lesson. Be looking out for me in the coming months. The books that are written, that are going to come throughout the year, throughout the months, throughout the weeks. The CDs, the book signing, the promotions, the book meetings, radio, TV. Be looking out for me. And pray for me. Pray that my my faith faileth not. Even when the foe and the enemy tries me. Tempts me. That I may not fail God's people. That I may not fail the faith of God. That I may not fail God that I may continue to stay faithful, that I may continue to stay upright, righteous, that I may walk in holiness. Some people don't want to mention that they walk in holiness because they're not really walking holy. But I said this long time ago, when a married man, there's no excuse why he cannot live holy when he's married, even when he's single. Stay faithful, people of God. Allow God to use you like never before. In these coming seasons, we have things that we're going to go through. But stay strong and stay faithful. Stay meek and honest and allow God to use you like never before. And I pray that all is well. God bless people of God. This is author John D. King, TBBC Podcast. Amen. And I pray that all is well. Amen. Pray for me. Pray for my family. 
as I pray for you and yours, that our faith faileth not, that we shall be greater than we are, that God shall lift us to a high mountain, and we shall serve Him like never before. And Father, we honor you on this day, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name.